Should you provide everything that investors ask you for before they give you a term sheet? And the answer is a qualified kind of sort of yes. But let me put some caveats in there. And the beginning of this is when you think about investors, they're not out to. Contrary to popular opinion, they're not out to steal your ideas. And in fact, if you go crazy and, and say to an investor, I want you to sign an NDA before uh, we go any further, guess what an investor is going to do? They're going to walk away. It just won't work. So there has to be a level of trust between you and the potential investors. And remember this, investors are in the people business. So if they start screwing around with you and they start stealing your ideas, then guess what's going to happen? Their deal flow is going to dry up if they get a reputation for doing this. So they don't want to do this. Now, having said that, investors do kind of sort of sometimes, depending upon the investor, steal ideas. I have had investors give me full pitch decks from competing companies in the space I was in. It does happen. So here's rule number one. Anything that you put in writing to a potential investor, such as giving them a pitch deck, you have to expect that it's going to get shared in ways that you don't like. And guess what? That's just part of the deal. Now, when you really think about it, what in your pitch deck is so proprietary anyways? Probably not a hell of a lot. So there's really not that much to worry about when you think about it. So that's one part of it. Now, the other part of it is sometimes in diligence, before an investor will give you a term sheet, they will have quote unquote experts that they will bring in. And sometimes these experts are people from industry. And yes, they may steal things that you provide them. If you give them information that may end up in other companies' hands, they may use it for things that you don't want them to use it for. So again, it goes back to trust. You have to trust the people that you're working with. And if you feel like, and I've had this happen before, where I've had somebody come in and do diligence and you know what, I didn't trust them at all. And I knew this person was up to no good. What do you do in that situation? You pull back because it doesn't matter what they say they're gonna tell you. Also, it doesn't matter even if they sign an NDA because NDAs are very difficult to enforce, almost impossible to enforce. So you have to be a little bit careful, a little bit gun shy, depending upon what you're sharing. So a little bit of beware, but for the most part, you can share most of what an investor asks you for. I'm Brett at brettjfox.com. Have a great, great day.